So whatever, whatever consciousness is, whatever its relationship is to the brain, if it is the product of what the brain is doing, it is the product of the organized information processing in the brain. And once that ceases to be organized, once those processes stop, once neurons are no longer firing, once their connections begin to break down, it's not a matter of so much of matter and energy being lost, it's a matter of activity ceasing. Where does a song go when you stop singing? Where does a dance go when you stop dancing? Do they still exist in some way? The distinction between having a mind and not having one, or being alive and being dead, is more like that. It's more like a verb than a noun. Living bodies do things that dead bodies don't. And when they stop doing those things, they're dead. Systems that process information and could be the basis of minds are doing things that disorganized systems don't. And when they become disorganized, they cease to do those things. So this is a bad analogy, this idea that the conscious mind is energy and energy can't be destroyed. Energy can be converted into forms that are no longer useful, where it can no longer do work, where it contains no more information. This is entropy. And we are fighting entropy every moment of our lives. And when we die, entropy wins. If you think in terms of process, it's a little easier to see that processes can become disordered and disrupted, right, and finally cease. So this is not where I would put my hopes for immortality. 